this lesson, we're going to be starting to create the chassis of our drone by creating the motor mountings. To do this, we're going to learn how to navigate the Fusion interface, create solid bodies, and modify solid bodies as well. First thing I'm going to do is create a new project by clicking onto the data panel, and we're going to go onto new project, and we're going to name it drone. Once I'm in the drone project, I can then create a new design by selecting the plus and I can save the new project as drone and press save. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component and that's going to be our chassis. I'm going to do that by create, go on to create on our toolbar at the top here and go on new component. I'm going to name the new component chassis as that's the thing we're going to be creating and we're going to press OK and you'll see in our browser here that it's come up with a new component chassis. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch so I'm going to go back to my toolbar here and we're going to go sketch and create sketch or I can select the create sketch icon on the top and I'm going to select the bottom plane and we're going to sketch onto this bottom plane. I'm going to go back up to sketch and I'm going to select circle and center down to circle or pressing C on our keyboard and I'm going to select the origin and create a circle 8.2 mil in diameter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the wall of our mounting by offsetting that circle. So I'm going to go into sketch, offset, and we're going to offset that circle by minus one. And that's going to create the wall of our mounting. I'm also going to offset again by pressing O on the keyboard by minus 1.5 and you'll see why we've done that in a short while and the next thing I'm going to do is just stop the sketch. To change the view I can go to my view cube at the top here and I can drag and rotate and that can will change the view. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this circle downwards so I'm going to go on to create and extrude or we can use the icon on our toolbar or press E on, our cut on the keyboard. I'm going to extrude this down by minus 15.5 and that's going to create our mounting. I'm going to make sure the operation is on new body and press OK. And that is that is created the mounting for our motor to sit into. However, at the, at the moment, the motor is just going to fly out the top of our mounting. So I'm going to go back into my component here. I'm going to bring up the sketch we just created by going onto our component and then sketch. I'm going to bring that sketch up by clicking on the light bulb. I'm going to press E on my keyboard to bring the extrude tool back up. I'm going to extrude that inner circle by 0.5 5, but minus 0.5 going downwards and I'm going to make sure the operation is on join and that's just created a little ridge to stop our motor from flying out the top. I can now get rid of that sketch and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just round the bottom of our mounting off. So I'm going to go back to my view code here and I'm going to change the angle so I can see the bottom of our mounting. I'm going to go to modify and then fill it, or you can press F on the keyboard. And I'm going to select this outer edge here, here and I'm going to fill it by 0.5 and press OK. And there we have our first motor mounting.